there it is. It is uh, windy out and about 43 degrees. A little bite in the air, but we're just glad the snow's off the ground now. All right, two and a half tons of uh, limestone. So we'll kind of start putting that in here. Help some of these sandy soft spots. The uh, Godzilla pulled it pretty nice. Hey everybody, Josh here with Adventure Roads. Autumn's at work. I was off yesterday and today. Um, today I'm going to go back in tonight at 6 o'clock till 10, work a four hour uh, overtime shift. But anyways, yesterday I hauled uh, two and a half tons of limestone, trying to uh, put it on the uh, driveway here a little bit in some of the uh, soft sandy spots. And then uh, today um, I got a little bit of a, a dead and down firewood that was uh, um, along the road that they've been cutting up. And so anyways, the dump trailer is really good. 12 foot dump trailer, 12,000 GVWR Mortz dump trailer out of Ohio. I've been real happy with it. Has the uh, scissor lift. So I can't complain. It's uh, done really well. So anyways, uh, speaking of trailers, Autumn and I were just in uh, at a friend's house in Indiana. And back over there, you see the uh, utility trailer. They have a car trailer. So at the end of this video, I'll show you. I had about a 15 second clip of uh, um, kind of a good way to hide an item on your trailer if you're uh, trailer it maybe protect it from the weather um, like maybe a winch to pull up a um, car if you have a car type trailer or maybe you got a certain tool or something like that so anyways a little uh, hack maybe you've seen it before but anyways I thought it was kind of cool here's a little bit of the gravel that we spread up in here How much is limestone running your neck of the woods? Two and a half tons here was running literally about hundred bucks, $99 in change. That was at SRW in Kalkaska County, Michigan. And then the driveway wraps up around that way and I put some on up there. But anyways, filling in some of these soft spots um, and staying out of the sand here a little bit. This is the part of the video I was going to show my friend's uh, hack with using a cooler on a trailer to either maybe hide something that you're hauling, maybe to keep it out of the weather, or a combination. So I thought this was kind of a cool little idea. So check it out. Stealth cooler. So there's no bottom in it, so we just lift it up. <laughs> so what is the... A little bit of firewood we have left there in that basket. That's the black locust I got from Joe's Premium Firewood. We have a little bit of hickory there. That's for heating or primarily for uh, throwing on the uh, grill. Here's some of the uh, firewood that we've had here. I got this over in a spot where we've actually deer hunted out of here. My daughter took a uh, doe out of this spot. This is actually a pretty cool little blind right through that window, looking down that trail over there. So this worked out pretty good. Good spot to uh, dry the firewood. This is not our driveway, but this just gives you an idea how much sand we get up here in the northern Michigan. So that's what the driveway could be like if we didn't put some gravel on it. Just now starting to green up. It is uh, May 4th, so we hope everybody has a good Cinco de Mayo tomorrow. Eat some tacos or tamales or something like that, enchiladas. What's your favorite? Autumn makes some uh, really good tamales and she makes some great enchiladas as well. So this is some of our firewood piles. This right here is some of our pine. That's just for campfire wood. And there's a little bit of red oak here. Some white oak in the back that's getting pretty well seasoned up. And then uh, that's some miscellaneous, probably mostly maple. That's mostly maple back there. So anyways, we got a number of piles around here. I got another pile back up over there with some uh, mainly maple, cherry, and a uh, little poplar. So anyways, we hope everybody's doing well. 
Ottemeyer continue to stay uh, busy. I'm sure you guys do as well. And uh, we thank you for watching Adventure Roads. Click like, hit subscribe, share with your friends, and thank you guys for watching. Um, our channel is the Variety Channel. We can't help it. We kind of dabble in a little bit of everything in life. There's a lot to love about a lot of things. So everybody have a great day, and thank you for watching. A little bit of firewood we have left there in that basket. That's a black locust I got from Joe's Premium Firewood. We have a little bit of hickory there. That's for heating or primarily for uh, throwing on the uh, grill. Here's some of the uh, firewood that we've had here. I got this over in a spot where we've actually deer hunted out of here. My daughter took a uh, doe out of this spot. This is actually pretty cool. A little blind right through that window, looking down that trail over there. So this worked out pretty good. Good spot to uh, dry the firewood. This is not our driveway, but this just gives you an idea how much sand we get up here in the northern Michigan. So that's what the driveway could be like if we didn't put some gravel on it. Just now starting to green up. It is uh, May 4th, so we hope everybody has a good Cinco de Mayo tomorrow. Eat some tacos or tamales or something like that, enchiladas. What's your favorite? Autumn makes some uh, really good tamales and she makes some great enchiladas as well. So this is some of our firewood piles. This right here is some of our pine. That's just for campfire wood. And there's a little bit of red oak here. Some white oak in the back that's getting pretty well seasoned up. And then uh, that's some miscellaneous, probably mostly maple. That's mostly maple back there. So anyways, we got a number of piles around here. I got another pile back up over there with some uh, mainly maple cherry and a uh, little poplar so as we hope everybody's doing well Ottemeyer continue to stay uh, busy i'm sure you guys do as well and uh, we thank you for watching adventure roads click like hit subscribe share with your friends and thank you guys for watching um, our channel is the variety channel we can't help it we kind of dabble in a little bit of everything in life there's a lot to love about a lot of things so everybody have a great day and thank you for watching